we go to appearance, we go to primary material, and it should be, yep, the starry camo. Right there, boys and girls. There you guys go. There is the proof. Alright, hey everyone. Welcome to a brand new video, guys. Today, I will be showing you guys how you can get the starry camo in Vehicle Simulator. So this is an easter egg uh, camo that you can only get by completing a lot of very weird uh, meticulous little objectives that I will show you guys how to complete in today's video. It's not too complicated, it's more just kind of time consuming so I'll make a bunch of cuts and uh, make it step by step so you guys don't have any problems. But um, anyways guys, I wanted to mention to you guys, if this video can hit 200 likes, I will be giving away 1000 Robux to one of you guys. All you have to do is like the video so we can hit that milestone. So Subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below your Roblox username so I can go ahead and uh, and message you guys if you end up winning. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started here. Alrighty guys, so to get started, we are currently sitting at the dealership. We're just outside of it right now. I will show you guys where we need to go. So if you guys just follow me here, we have to head towards the Bloxy Wood sign over there. So basically what this is, is you have to go to a bunch of different little hidden Easter egg spots. So I think if we go up here... Whoa! Whoa, okay, okay, uh, don't, don't mind my poor driving, I'm still getting used to this game, but if we take a left-hand turn here and make one more left up here into this little tunnel right here, I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on the map as well so you guys can kind of see, um, where am I, where am I, um, I'm right up here at the top, okay. So this is where I am currently, um, and you're going to notice right here in this, inside this little tunnel towards the, uh, the blocks you would sign, there is a secret little entrance, so let's go ahead and let's enter this, uh, this little place here so this is pretty cool there's a bunch of little areas like this hidden around the map and that's basically what you have to do so let's run over there really quickly here and um try to see if we can figure out what we gotta do so as you guys approach this little area here you're gonna notice a weird little waterfall so that's the only thing in this entire area so clearly you gotta go towards it so once you get towards it all you have to do is swim straight so go towards it and start swimming straight and you're gonna go through oh let's try to get back here you're gonna go and see this little um, it's hard to show you guys this little piece of grass right here and what you're gonna want to do is kind of go right through that piece of grass until you get con through this little cave no what is happening what is happening right now okay okay oh oh okay I guess the currents kind of push me okay there you go it's a little complicated and it, it, you can get stuck a few times but you'll get the idea eventually of what you have to do oh my gosh I'm getting sucked out okay guys so I think I just made it through that was a little harder than I expected it to be to be completely honest the current kept pu pushing me back up so if you guys have a bit of trouble don't think the glitch is broken or anything it just for some reason I guess I'm getting a little bugged out um, like I said it is an Easter egg so it's gonna be filled with bugs but as long as you guys can make it you'll be good to go so once you get in here you're gonna notice this uh, this strange little uh, strange little architecture here I, I don't really know what any of this is but this isn't even very important. It's just uh, it's just meant to be there. Anyways, if you wanted to take your car out, you absolutely could. I don't really care about it too much, so I'm not going to take out my car. It could make it a little bit faster, but oh well. Anyways, once you get over here, don't worry about any of these little structures here. None of that stuff is important. What you have to worry about here is that Dominus Rex just kind of glowing right there. It is amazing looking. Basically, you have to collect a bunch of Dominus Rexes in order to get this camouflage, but what you want to do here is, and keep this in mind, guys, when you end up doing this for yourself, Please make sure that you, you right click around the Dominus Rex a bunch of times. It sounds weird, it's not going to do much. Right click around and on the Dominus Rex to make sure that when you left click you're actually going to get it. And once you left click it you should actually wipe out and you should should be able to spawn back in here. Yep. And um, if we go ahead and click I believe it's G, yeah. We can go to our quest items and it'll say to us that we have a, whoop. And we have a Dominus Rex. I don't know why it's not loading here but oh wait, yep. Yeah, okay, anyways, anyways, so you got, you guys got the Dominus Rex, perfect, anyways, let's get on to the next part of this easter egg. Alrighty guys, and for the next part of this easter egg, I am, I'm actually currently just leaving the dealership just back there, so what you have to do is actually go towards the desert. So, the desert's on the top right of your map here, you can kind of see it, uh, you have to go over towards there, and, um, so basically towards the blocks, Bloxy Wood sign, you see that right there, and then you just make a right hand turn, continue going down, and then make a left, kind of towards the, uh, the first easter egg again, but now we're gonna make a right hand turn, and we're gonna go straight towards here, and I will show you guys where we need to go from here. 
Alrighty guys, now for this part, it is a little bit strange for me to show you. So, I don't know if you can notice this here. I'll go into first person. If, if you notice right here, there's a little tiny indent. And this is supposed to indicate like a little pressure plate. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to step on this pressure plate. So, step on it. Make sure that you step on it. I don't know if it makes any sounds or not. I, I didn't really hear one. But just make sure you step on it. Walk towards here. And you're going to have to go into the ocean. So, we're just going to go ahead and jump on in here. And there should be um, a little little entrance somewhere um, in the sand so let's see if we can find it we can and there it is perfect so let's go ahead and let's go down there I don't know why with water but it's like super glitchy with my player so let's just go down here very quickly um, whoa holy yeah it's it's a very tight spot as you can see here but you should be able to fit through there uh, quite easily yep there we go perfect nice 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 we fell through we're good to go we're in this little cave here um, what you got to get from here is actually just a little sword so you see the sword right here very simple make sure you right click it right click every item you see a bunch of times just to make sure you get it um, and then once you click it here you should be able to uh, to acquire it then if we go to our tools yeah we have the uh, the uh, the vig Vergam Pasca Ovo. So I don't know what that's supposed to be. That's the sword basically. So we're good. Um, and now let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, I almost forgot to mention, guys. Once you're in here, you might forget how to get out, or you might not know how to get out. I almost forgot myself. What you have to do is you actually have to reset your character. Uh, no big deal. It just it just it just kills them basically. And you go back to the dealership. You'll still have your item and everything. And then we can go ahead and get the next item here. Alrighty, guys. And for this next one, it is actually very close to where we just were. So again, head towards the block. Bloxy wood. This way it's sort of, I'm trying to make it the directions as easy as possible for you guys, but yeah, so head towards the Bloxy wood, make a right hand turn. I mean, you, you, you can kind of only go right, but yeah, make your right hand turn, and then you're going to want to go left here, and then right once again. So basically the exact same direction you guys just went for that sword, um, and now once we get towards here, we have to get to the racetrack. So let's find the desert racetrack. Um, if you guys know how to get there, then definitely take your own route, but you have to get towards the desert racetrack. Um, I think it's, it's very close to here. Yeah, it's just a over there so let's let's just go on the desert on the sand here whoop de doo um, and then once you get over here it's very simple so you'll notice this little uh, rock formation here I suppose what you're gonna want to do is get towards it very very close Alrighty, guys I'm actually mistaken this is the wrong rock the rock is right over there I totally got confused my bad my bad um let's head over there so let's get back in our car it's very easy so just so you guys know exactly where it is it's this little rock formation you'll notice a ramp right here and that's how you know you're in the right spot so Let's get out here, um, and what we, what we have to do once we get over here is you see this little patch of grass right here against the rocks. You're basically just going to want to go inside of that. There's a little tunnel here, and boom, there you are. You're inside of this cool little area. There's a cabin over here. None of this stuff is very important. It's all just like aesthetics. What you need right here is that golden dominus. I don't know why my character keeps falling. Oh my gosh, look, every single time he keeps falling. I don't know. I don't know why. It's weird, but yeah. Basically, you'll get over here, you'll notice another golden dominus. Just go ahead and right click it a bunch of times, and then basically you can left click it. It'll wipe you out. Every time you pick up a dominus, it will wipe you out, which is supposed to kind of get you back out of the area. It's supposed to do that, don't worry. And then we can open up our inventory. We have we have uh, both the dominuses, and we also have one of the swords. We need one more item, guys, so let's go ahead and grab the last item. Okay guys, so for this one here, it's a little bit harder to get to and it's kind of annoying to get to as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. You're going to go straight from the dealership um, towards the uh, the city here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out of the water. I Mind my driving, guys. I do apologize. Let's go ahead and get here. So you're going to notice, once you get through this little... Uh, little city here you're gonna notice a big huge mountain right there so there's a giant mountain what you guys want to do is if you have a fast enough car I think you can just drive straight up it I don't know if I'll be able to if not you can just walk right up it yeah my car yeah let's just get out uh <laughs> see you later McLaren um basically what you're gonna want to do is scale this whole mountain get to the very top here um and then once you're at the top there's gonna be a little cliff side where you can jump down and uh I'll show you guys that once we get to it Alrighty, everybody, here we are. We're just about to approach it here. So once you get to this top, you'll kind of notice a bunch of a uh, bunch more stones here. You're going to get to this little ledge and basically just jump straight down, hopefully not missing it on the way down. Um, it's not this ledge, it's the next one right here. Yep. So you'll notice a small little tunnel here. You're basically going to want to go through this. As you noticed, a lot of it's very similar. So basically jump through this. Um, whoa, holy, okay. And you'll approach this weird tunnel looking thing here and... There you are, there's a giant temple, and for some reason there's a freaking UFO right here. I don't really know, and there's a bunch of aliens and stuff. It's so weird. It's honestly so weird. It's such a, such a different looking, uh, 
uh, area, I guess. But basically, once you get over here, there's two items you want to grab. So the first one you want to grab is this... Uh, is this map right here so basically right click it a bunch of times left click it should go into your inventory uh, if we go to request items we have the alien map yes perfect okay so once you get that you also want to get the Dominus of course like I said right click it then left click it it'll wipe you out big deal um, and then you'll have all three Dominuses you'll have the sword and the alien map and I think that might be it okay so I was totally mistaken there is still a bunch of stuff we need here so let's continue forward and get more of these items so what you're gonna need right now is basically to go to where the uh, blocks you would sign as per usual I mean I don't know what it is with going over there but it's the easiest way for me to direct you guys so once you get over there you see that giant like cell tower right there basically you're gonna want to climb that thing I don't even know why or how but we're, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna climb this dang thing I'll, I'll tell you that so let's get over there you might need a faster car to climb over probably not to be honest but yeah in case you do just letting you know. Anyways, once we're here, we can actually go up. We should be able to get to the top. Okay, so to get to the top here, you, you do need to climb on your car. So basically what you want to do is put a car up against the wall um, so that you can kind of use it as something to, uh, to jump off of. So let's go like that. There we are. We're at the cell phone tower or whatever this is supposed to be. And basically we can climb to the, uh, to the top of it. Alrighty guys, then once you are here, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to you're gonna see this tiny little button here, this tiny little red button. Basically all you're going to want to do is to click it like that and it should light up like that and then you are good to go. So then we can jump down very easily here and uh, get on to the next uh, little objective. Alrighty guys, so the next part that you need to go to is another button actually. So basically you're going to want to get to these docks right up here and once you're here, I'll go ahead and put it up on the map actually because I didn't really show the way to get here. Um, yeah, so I I'm just over towards the docks right over here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but yeah, I'm just right there near the Tesla dealership. Uh, and then once you get over here, it's very, very simple. So let's get over here. And on the right hand side, you can kind of notice um, a staircase right there. Basically, you're just going to want to get out of your car, go into the staircase. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit here. Go to the staircase and there should be a, okay. And there should be a blue button somewhere here. Yep, yeah, right there. Okay. So Let's, let's kind of backtrack here. So you come down the stairs, um, you take a left-hand turn, and that pole right here, this one right here will have the blue button. Basically, just right-click it, um, the light will go off, and you are done there. Okay, guys, so... For this next part here, basically what you're going to want to do is go back towards that mountain that we were just at earlier in the video and basically we have to go towards the top of it once again. Now guys, I wanted to let you guys know that you don't have to do this in any particular order. I believe that doing the buttons you have to do in an order, so make sure that you follow the buttons in the order I have shown you. But besides that, I don't think it really much matters um, for the all the other, other items. Just make sure you have them. Make sure you have all three Dominuses. Make sure you have the alien map and make sure you have the, uh, the sword. So for the buttons, just make Make sure you go in the order but everything else I don't think matters as much anyways once we get to the top here there should be that rock little right there so that little rock thingy um, and right when we get up there there should be a little little tree or sorry not a little tree a little bush that we can can notice where is it here let's see if we can find it okay so this one actually took me a little while to notice so this rock right here um, this is the only one facing towards the city once you're at the top of the uh, mountain this actually was like really really hard for me to notice it's right here this little tiny button is right here basically you're just gonna want to right click it and there you go you have three of the buttons all right let's get on to the next part Alrighty guys, welcome back. So for the last final button here, what you guys have to do is actually, here, let me go ahead and show you guys on the map. Maybe it'll be a little bit more clear for you guys, but this is very close to a couple of uh, very big race areas. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. So I'm right, I'm sitting right here, basically at the edge of the map here, um, very close to the, the shipping yard. Well, this is actually the shipping yard, but this is close to the shipping yard race. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys exactly what we have to do. So once you get to where I am here, so it should be pretty easy easy to tell how you can tell is basically there's a ramp right here so this ramp right here is kind of how you can indicate where exactly you are so what you're going to want to do is drive right towards the uh the edge here and so once you're about i think it's here yeah it's just over here so once we get over here whoa don't want to get into the water okay 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 once we're over here, this is exactly where you need to be. You're, you're going to notice this little um, crate. This one, this is like the only crate that's actually open right now. So let's go ahead and go into it, of course. And you're going to notice in the very far corner, a yellow button. Very simple. Just go ahead and right click that. And then you are finally done with looking for freaking buttons. Okay, guys. So once you've completed all the buttons and I just made sure here I just checked while uh, while we made this little cut here you have to do it in the order that I'm showing you guys you absolutely have to because if you don't do it in that order then you won't be able to uh, 
to get your stuff. So basically, what you're going to want to do is go towards the mountain for the final time, but instead of going towards the actual mountain, you're going to make a right-hand turn here and go towards this giant weird arena looking thing. So, let's approach this uh I guess it's supposed to be like a race track. Yeah, cuz you can do a, you can do a race on this actual track here. So yeah, get towards this thing here and once you get here, basically what you're going to want to do instead of actually going towards that arena, which you'd probably think is what you need to do, you're going to get out here and see this little mountain right here across from the uh the that dome that which to me looks like a rocket league um kind of kind of easter egg anyways that's a, that's a story for another time once we get over here guys let's get to the top of this uh this mountain and as as you guys can see here there's something something very cool okay so right here is basically a portal okay this is a this is a very strange portal and i have all of the all these like weird things ready oh wait 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 hold on a second I'm missing one. I'm frigging missing one. What am I missing? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I totally forgot about one of them. Let's go over to it really, really quickly. I'm so sorry. I don't think it actually... We're, we're going to see if this matters, okay? If this matters, I'm going to have to do this over again. But if not, then, um, then we're good. So if you guys are watching this, it probably doesn't really much matter as long as you get all five buttons. Whoa, okay, okay, so let's go ahead and let's drive over there. This one I'll actually do without a jump cut because I can kind of show you guys exactly where you need to be for this. So this one is um is a little harder to get to, I will agree. It's a little harder to get to. Um, There's quite a lot of little... Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, so we are back at the dealership here, guys. Basically, what you're going to want to do is um, go towards the uh, the city once again for the final time, I believe. Alrighty guys, so for this one here, basically you need to get to this fire station. So, if you can see here, there's a fire station just right here in this little corner. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the map so it's a little easier for you guys to kind of see. So let's go ahead and let's zoom in. So where we are currently is... Just here, um, close to the supercar dealership, just down the road from the supercar dealership. Then just go straight down and you're basically going to be here. I can see the supercar dealership right over there. So basically just, it, it's very close to it. You'll see this little fire station, but we're not actually going to the fire station. We're going behind it. Now, what we need to do here is actually stop right about here, I'd say, um, and get out. This is probably the easiest button to get, um, in my opinion. So at least we left this one for the last. Let's see here. I believe, okay, so it's not on this side. It must be on the other side. So... Let's go ahead and get to, I believe, I believe it's in the back. It's behind one of these, like, little rails here. So, let's see if we can find it pretty, pretty quickly here. So, there's, oh, wait, here it is. So, here's the purple button. This is the one that we missed. I can't believe I forgot about it. Let's go back and see if that's all we needed to do. Alrighty, guys. So, we're headed over there just now. Um, I don't know what it is, but I hear, I'm hearing some weird noises. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but in my Roblox game right now, it's playing some weird noises. So I'm I'm kind of taking a wild guess here and thinking that I probably did this right and we're probably ready to go. If you look under the map, you can kind of see under the map. Oh, I can't show it anymore. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get up there. You can kind of see what, uh, what lies beneath. But basically, let's get to the top of this. All of the lights are lit. Yeah, so it doesn't matter, guys. Okay. That's a very important thing. So it does not matter which way you do the buttons at all. I noticed in a couple other people's videos it mentioned that it's very important, but it isn't. It really doesn't matter what buttons you do or what order you do it in. So basically, just make sure you get all five of the buttons, and then basically we can jump down into this weird lava cave thing. I, I just took a lot of damage. And then once you get over here, basically, you'll notice that um, all, of these, all of these little characters have a... Uh, have the Dominus head here and so basically what you need to do is just left click this put the sword inside of it like so okay so after you've put in the sword there what you guys got to do is go to all these little or sorry these three little uh angels I guess or whatever three little Dominus uh things here I don't I don't know what to call them I don't know but basically you got three hoods right so basically you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, press G get your quest item out so you're gonna have to get one of the uh the Dominuses out here so let's get that Dominus out and put that on um Guess not that one. Okay, you do it. I think you have to put it on the right character here. So, uh, yeah, right click it on there. Boom, there you go. The blue one goes there. And then we can go to the, uh, the next quest item. I don't know why it's so, like, weird and glitchy. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put that one there. Oh, wait, no, that one goes over here, I believe. Yeah, okay. And now the last Dominus, the, uh, the green one, I believe. Yep. Okay, let's go. Let's put that one there. And I think we are done. I think we are good here, and what you guys can see over there is some weird, like, blue flame thing. I don't, I don't know what that is. Let's walk towards that, and there we go. Um, okay, now we're in some, like, dark, scary area here. What is this? 
So let's go ahead, reset our character here, get out of here, and basically see if we've gotten this uh, this camo now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. Let's see if we can find out if we have this camo. I'm going to go to my Mustang, because I think I'm actually going to put it on my Mustang. So let's go to the nearest car shop here. I believe it would just be uh, just down this road, and we can see if we actually got this and if this actually works. Hopefully it does. I mean, we, went, we did a process to get here. So we go to appearance, we go to primary material, and it it should be yep the starry camo right there boys and girls there you guys go there is the proof you guys know it this is awesome and we didn't even have to pay for it you get the starry camo for free so that's super super awesome thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it and want to win free robux leave a like comment down below your roblox username and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel to enter in my giveaway that's it for now guys thank you so so much for watching i will see you guys all in the next video